What is up everyone, this is Mogam here and today I'm going to show you how to fix the placement for error code SU-42481-9. So this is a error code that's been coming up with the latest placement for uh, update 9.0 and it's been causing folks a lot of issues. As you can see, mine has successfully installed it had actually caused me some problems and I'm going to basically show you what to do, the steps to take if you have or have not installed on how to essentially fix this. Uh, if for whatever reason you can come back into your system software and you haven't installed it yet, just go into the notifications and then just delete the download and hopefully you can do that and even if you can go in and it's just not installing for you just delete the download and then kind of go back so once you do that what we want to do is we want to go to power off and turn off the PlayStation 4 console completely not rest mode or anything because we're going to enter into safe mode for this console now if you basically did the update and your console is breaking so when you try to turn it on it just doesn't turn on just let it completely shut off and if it just doesn't shut off and you don't see anything just hold the power button for like 20 seconds it'll automatically just turn off now as you're shutting it off you want to make Make sure the right light on the right side of the PlayStation 4, you can't see it here, stops flashing because that is obviously, uh, you need that to completely stop flashing for you to be able to enter into rest mode, a uh, uh, safe mode, I apologize, because that is where we're going to go do our magic. So uh, for, I can see mine has stopped now. Uh, when you hold on to the power button, you want to hold it for like about five to eight seconds. Uh, you'll hear two beeps. My console doesn't make a beep anymore because it sucks, but um, you'll hear about two beeps. And then once you hear the second beep, you can kind of let go. Uh, I just do like a guesstimate and as you can see boom I am now in safe mode as you see right there on the top now what you want to do when you're in safe mode you want to make sure you have a USB cable connected to your PlayStation cons uh, controller and you'll see it'll start working you don't want to use the unlock stick you want to use the d-pad so when you're in when you're in here you want to make sure you do rebuild database first before you do anything because this will possibly fix any possible issues you may have happening on your console any database failure structural issues it'll kind of fix it from that perspective once you do that come back into the safe mode screen again if you have to it might take some time you want to go to option number three and then number three within that you want to update it from here so you want to do this from this component and this is the better route to go from because once you start updating from here it'll basically bypass any possible console issues and just directly update it from safe mode this should save your console from getting bricked or causing any future issues so i will in just general a rule of thumb always recommend for playstation cons for consoles for now at least continue doing it here the playstation 5 is kind of okay you don't have to but again that's been breaking as well if you guys have seen um but yeah i want you to try from here if for whatever reason this doesn't work you may have to come back to this page Oops, sorry and then try option number one i have a video on how to do this i will leave it in the description in the comments below for you guys to check out but it's virtually the same thing but you require a pc device to download the updated file and then have it placed in here a usb device plug it in your playstation 4 and then basically do it from there um if for whatever sad reason those two don't work you're gonna have to try option number six and seven and six and seven are going to delete everything off of your console so you have to be cognizant of that that all your games will be sadly deleted uh so just an fyi number six will do it within the console itself number seven requires a usb device very similarly to the other one uh, again same thing i have a video on how to do this as well which will be in the description and uh, comments uh but yeah same similar case you will just up put the usb in and then update your console from there uh so yeah that's basically it i do hope like you sadly don't have to go to the last two resorts but you end up doing this one this ends up working for you and you're basically good to go uh so yeah <laughs> that's basically it if you guys overall like this video please smash that like button it helps a lot if you guys are new to the channel make sure to subscribe and click that notification button and that more coming out peace